Right guys, we're extremely low aren't we? I'm still waiting for this customer to come so what I'm going to do is I'm going to slap some, uh, some flux on these pipes just braze these rings on. I say I've, I've just double checked it uh, for clearance of silence on chain guard so I'm happy with the position of them I think. If I put some tacks, the rings are alright, they just want tacking on in place then taking off brazing round and then I just need to check the line on the tailpipe it's only held in there loose so what I'll probably do is put a tack on it then pull it into place stick another tack on it and then take it all apart, braze round it and I think it should be done, just the bracket issue so the customer said it'd be about an hour and a half uh, give me enough time to probably suss out a bracket as well I'll have a look at it, while I'm brazing these on that's in my back of my mind, is how to make a bracket so I'll get paste out uh, here's paste and I'll, I'll try and get you, get, get you a bit more of a close up view so, which one should we start on? That is the question. You can probably you can see all of them there, can't you? So my plan is get some get some flux on these bits here. Just I'll just put a bit on the top of each one. I think that one will have to be on the side on. Get one on the top of this one, which is going to be a bit trickier to braise with it being sat next to the bench. I should do that. And I just want to make sure that they're butted up right. Right, let's get started. Out. Also, I need my goggles from the back of here. Batteries low, so we might not even get that much out of this. But if I tell you what, I just zoom it in on on that front pipe, so that before battery goes, we'd maybe get at least one view. Is enough to braze over the top at camera? Try not to set my on fire. That one tacked on. Oh, look at these. You won't be able to see that one, so it's pointless showing you, but yeah, I'm going to try and attack that one right back there. An over the top job, I think. Oh, I don't know about that one. Right guys, that's it's all brazed in place, or it's all tacked in place. I'll go in, give you a bit of a bit of a view. Basically, just on that, just run a little line around it. And you can see that now, can't you? That's just held it in place. Same with these ones here. Just put a couple of tacks on. 
too close to it for it to focus. Just put a, yeah, a couple of tacks on there and then I'll take them all off, braze all the way around them. Just make sure that they sat up right because I can actually tap them with the hammer because I've only brazed it on the top side like on that. I can still tap it on the bottom side, get them butted up nicely. So I'm going to have a bit of a fiddle with this tailpipe. Stand, stand back from it, make sure it's all in a nice line across here. I posted up a picture on my Instagram yesterday and that looks like it's sloping down. It still looks like it's sloping down, but it's probably not. It's a weird thing. Uh, it's in the right place anyway, it looks right. Uh, yeah, just, so just get that tailpipe just so it just sits in line with the rest of that. Tack it on, lever it up. Then that's that finished as well. Uh, so yeah, I'm just have a bit of a mess about with it now. And then I'll come back, I'll, I'll show you. Pulling it all off, brazing it all up, putting it back on again. And hopefully, in that amount of time, I might have sussed out a bracket up to that nut up there. So. Right, let's have a look at this bike. Uh, I've had the pipes on, I've tacked them up. It's basically, I've got the last little bits to do now. Uh, so I'm going to whip it all off. I'll keep looking at it. I'm going to whip it all off. And let's have a look, it's down there. I'll whip all that off, uh, braze round it all. Put it all back on again, and it's finished. I think that that the only last little bits. I, I could have finished it off yesterday, but I had a customer bring me that white bike underneath that sheet, and we chatted for a few hours. He had some race programs with me dad in and stuff like that. We, we yeah, we we chat for a few hours. Uh, customers always say, "Oh, I'm wasting your time, and I'm wasting your time." Well, we'll get off, we'll get off, and then. They come back for another half an hour chat. <laughs> and they're like, right, we're going, we're going, we're going. They had to drive all the way down to to Somerset, Devon way. Uh, like they had a four hour drive back home. Uh, and they left here at six, so they probably didn't get home till ten. But yeah, we had a good afternoon. Uh, what I call a business meeting, in it really. Yeah, perks of the job, didn't it? We just stood around talking about bikes for three hours. Uh, so I didn't get what I wanted to do on this grump, and that's why. I'm always in here on a Saturday, uh, catching up. But it's like I say, perks of the job. Sometimes in the middle of the week, that's what you do. You chat about bikes, waste a bit of time. And then I just have to come in on a Saturday or a Sunday just to catch up an extra few hours that I've wasted chatting about bikes. But if I did chat about bikes during the week, then I'd still be down here on Saturday chatting about bikes. <laughs> you know, like, <laughs> there's, there's enough hours in the week in this chat about bikes. So let's keep chatting about bikes. What I'll do is spin camera around. We'll go and have a look at these tacks I've done. But basically I've done the tacks using that using that TIG braze. So that TIG braze is coming handy again on this job. And basically it coming handy, like I, I'd film myself brazing them on with gas torch, these little rings on there, rings on there. But then when we got up this end, I couldn't get the gas torch out because it's got a fiberglass mud guard on the back there. So not a chance I could have got to that there, that tack, let me see if it'll focus in. Get to that tack there without the flame kissing that. Same with that, if I'd have gone with that, the flame would just go over the top of the pipe like that, it just spread and it'd start torching this. Same with trying to get a tack, so I've tacked this on there, tacked it on there, and that's same. Get torch down there, the gas torch, it'd be a burning mug guard. So what I did, I got my TIG in there, TIG in there, which were hard work, because that were like back backhanded. I had to do that and then put the rod over the top. Really need to learn how to weld left-handed. But yeah, they've just got some tiny little TIG braze tacks on. One there, one there, one there, one there. I'm going to try and take it all off dead carefully without moving that tack or moving that tack. Take the front pipes off, put them on my bench over here, get gas torch out over there and give them a good braze round. Good braze round, then clean them off with grinder. Then we'll assemble it all back up. So what I'll do, I'll set, set camera up over here again. And we'll get the tools out for the job. We're going to need like an Allen key. An Allen key and a spanner should do it, to be honest with you. Let's see what we've got here. It's a bit, could do with being like a wide angle lens, that, but that gets it in, doesn't it? Pull my parts up. Uh, so just try and do this gently, gently. So I've got an Allen key bolt here up front. The lid and one. It's a little bit hard to get to, but yeah, that's that twisted off using that spanner and Allen key technique. Get that slackened out. 
while just keeping my eye on the brackets and the thing, just make sure nothing moves drastically. So that, I'm gonna pop the pipe so it should come out. There we go. Then get this one on the back here. Get this one off. Right, gently, gently now. Try and do this without this. This is the first time I've done this where it's a bit more critical. Push that, yeah, I can push that through, that'll help. We probably, I know there's not much, there's not much wiggle room in this because this won't come towards because of the tailpipe. It won't push away because of the the bracket. But I do need to wiggle it a bit to get the pipes out. bring you in it we're going it was just it's still a bit tight but I'm confident I can get that on and off best I'm just gonna try and take this bottom pipe out first so I know the bottom pipes easier it's basically easier because the pipes going that way and that'll come out with it with that pipe that pipe needs to come out that way like it goes that way out the head which means that it's just not, it's not in line with this at all. If I try pulling that out that way, then that pipe moves off. It goes this way. It also moves up and down like loads. So if I can get this pipe out first, then that should free up this junction. That pipe will come out a bit easier, I think. Come on, come on. Oh, that might start releasing the one out a little tiny bit. Ah, right, yeah, come on, there's not much left on that now. Right, it's out the edge. One down. Right, try and wiggle this out that way. Just enough, I need to just need to go enough that way where I can get that one out. Like that. Take that out that way. That's another one out. <whistles> Touch and go that way. And then this one should come out fairly easy now. It's basically it's a bit slack on the front. I'm gonna tighten that up afterwards, just stretch out the neck on it and just make it a little bit tighter because it is a little bit loose that part but it helps you get it off because it's tight there against that barrel there we go so we're all off right next plan now is go and grab them bottles drag them over here and then set them up get everything let me just lean that there Drag them over here, yeah, set everything up, get it, get it torched on, get the raising rods out.
not a waste of your idea. Ah, yeah. Just checking your angles out. I think you'll be alright there. Right. Next bet. Next bet. Next bet. Next bet. Next bet. I don't know what I'm saying that for. Next thing. Uh, get me pipes on the back of here. Go find a brazing rod. Find me flux. I think I'm going to braze, braze the collars on. Right guys, I think I already in my last video, so we'll pick it back up from here. Uh, basically what had happened, I've been filming the Greaves, the Grumpf and the Royal Enfield, both on the same memory card, both of my dodgy batteries that keep running out. Uh, this time the camera said, the camera stopped and I looked at it, memory card full again. Ugh, that's basically just because I've had two bikes on there. so. It'll let me do like 20 videos, say 10 minutes each or something like that. And then I run out of room. Uh, so I completely run out of room. But I had uploaded two of them grunt videos to YouTube. So this morning, I've took all the stuff off that memory card, put it on my laptop, ready to do some more videos. Uh, problem is, the majority of them are them Royal Enfield ones. And I want to finish off these grunt videos before I start uploading the, the Royal Enfield ones. So I were here and I were about to say, right, we'll braze them rings on. Uh, but then battery, the memory card ran out, so I just carried on doing it. It was a weekend, weren't it? Saturday. Uh, I just thought oh, I'll just carry on. I'll just carry on. Uh, film some of it on my phone, but I won't start doing that. I posted up a reel yesterday of me fitting the actual pipes to the bike, so that bit's all signed off now. What I'll do in a minute, I'll pick up camera. We'll do a quick walk round before anybody comes. Uh, I've got it out, so we'll have a quick look at it. Uh, and then what I've got to do after that is the oil tank and the petrol tank, they need some modifications. So once I've finished doing the pipes, I've started making up these little bits of sheet. And these are gonna be the little infill pieces to go into the tank, them two there for petrol tank. This one here for oil tank. The customer, he's already put the cut the, put the cutouts in, he just wanted me to shape some bits of steel to go in there and then TIG weld them in. So yeah, I'll dig camera out now and then we'll, like I say, we just, we skipped a major bit, but it all it were, we're just brazing on rings, it weren't no fancy. Uh, so yeah, we'll have a look at that, I'll show you what I've done. And then we'll try and cover some of this, but let's say my uncle's coming in this afternoon and we're gonna have a look at building this on the CB350K4. It's, we're, build, me and my uncle are building like a replica of the one that my dad used to race. Uh, I've managed to blag him a fairy. So what I did, I spoke to someone. I was gonna buy one, really. We were gonna sell some more stuff from upstairs, buy a fairy, and then one of the guys that races over in Liverpool, like races at Aintree and stuff like Ken Halliwell, uh, he said to me, he'll make me one. He's still got the old jigs from the 90s frames, which is, comes without a belly pump, because now you need belly pumps to put oil trays in and stuff. In the 90s, you didn't need oil trays, so the, a lot of the fairings didn't have belly pans in the bottom of them. So we've got a, a pre-belly pan fairing. Sent me a screen with it as well, which I think is about 150 quid's worth of stuff, something like that, 200 quid's worth of stuff. Uh, and in return, he wants me to weld up another tank, the different job, a tank, a mug guard, and some clip-ons. Just wants a bit of welding work. So very similar to what I'm going to be doing today, just patching in. Uh, but yeah, my uncle wants to come down and have a look at this fairing, so it might be a case of digging bike out, pissing about with fairings for some afternoon. Uh, yeah, but I'll try and set the camera up and we'll do a bit of, at least if I go and show you this now, I'll show you what I've done, I'll flip tanks over, I'll show you these going into tanks. And then if we miss out the TIG welding bit, it's just TIG welding, it'll just be a bright light. That's all you'll see, won't you? So I'll just show you what I've done to get them to go in there and we'll go and have a look at Grump for now. So come and get camera. Flip screen round. Let's go and have a look at it. She looks pretty. She looks good. We had quite a lot of comments on this one already. One guy wants that silence, so I've got a beamer job to do there. This come on Friday, did it? Friday, yeah, come on Friday. If we've not seen that one before. But yeah, I've got a guy that wants that silence to put in on that bike. 
it's doable, isn't it? So that's a good reason, another good reason for showing these videos is people get ideas of what they can have and what they can't have. So where were we on? Friday, Saturday, Saturday. Basically, yeah, I finished it off. I tacked this on with TIG braids, that bracket, and I tacked this rear pipe on. So we took all that off. That looks like it's pointing down, but it's not. Some weird uh, optical illusions go on. That does, it looks like it's tipping down, but that's just because of the bend. If you come round there, it's not too bad. It actually looks like it's not following that rail as well, but it almost is. What it is, is that rail's kicking up, the tank comes down, that chain guard's going up. So I've just gone somewhere in the middle. When it's down on floor, I think that sits level still. It's tricky to see, it looks level now when the back wheel's up off the floor, but yeah, it's just because of all the different lines, but it's as good as it is. <laughs> it's it's ninety nine percent perfect. So yeah, what I've done, I've braised that on, took it off, and braised that all the way around. If you can see that, let's get that focusing up. That's fair neat. <clears throat> now braised all the way around this bracket to get a nice big join on the back of there. Then we braised these collars on. So just put a collar on there, a collar on there. They're basically what they are. That makes that not push on any further. There's nothing holding it together. I think a bit of a silicon sealer or something, a bit of gasket sealer on there would probably hold this all together. And if not, then maybe another bracket or some spring hooks. Then I've braised around these brackets here that hold these two pipes together. Little tab there. Braised two more rings on, one on the top of that one. One on the top of this one. And they're the same thing, that just lets you know that they've been pushed in all the way. It also makes like a little detail out of this, so as this is coming up, it's just got a little step step up into that. Once that's been buffed off with, with polisher, they'll look mint then, they'll look proper nice. So I, I like them, I think they, yeah, they just finish off the pipes nicely. So that's what it's looking like. That's it, it's, it's near enough perfect isn't it? So it's, the, the sweeps, the sweeps on these pipes are perfect. There's nothing wrong with that crossover there, and there's nothing wrong with that. And then that sweep over casing's perfect. It's all perfect, to be honest with you. I've got nothing wrong with it. They say that that tips down a little tiny bit, but when you've got the tank on and you'll have the seat on, that's probably be sat nicely between the two. Uh, yeah, so it looks slightly different from it did before because it had a tank on before, didn't it? It had an oil tank on the other side. That's what I've whipped off. I've whipped the oil tank out from here. With petrol tank off. If we want to have a look at these, basically the, the petrol tank, which is here, sits on top of the rocker covers. And to get a nice fit, what he's done is he's done that as the customer. He's cut out the bottom of the tank to make it fit better. That's where the top of engine sits. And what I've done is I've knocked these little trays up. I need, I need to weld them up the corners there and then drop them in, something like that and then weld all the way around that same for the other side so it needs a little bit of trimming, you can see there it's sticking out over that edge that's what I'll do this afternoon is just get them all trimmed up so that they're perfect, then tack them all in then weld round it all, so one of them for either side them all to fair Fair symmetrical, that one's a little bit tighter is that side. But what I'll do is just make one of these slightly smaller, just bend up the corners a little bit more and it'll be a little bit smaller. I'll pick one will be smaller than the other, so just pick the smaller version. Then I've got this piece. This is gonna be like a little grafting piece for the oil tank. So this has got a cut out <coughs> here, this is what it looks like from the front. Looks fair normal, it's just took a little bit out of that back edge, and that's to sit under frame uh, seat rail for that. Seat rail curves round it like this here. What we're going to do with that piece is that will go in there, something like that. So that's the same thing. I've actually been messing about with that this morning, just just trimming that down, trying to knock it into a bit more of a shape. What I want to do with that one, same again, just weld it up here in the corner first and then trim it so it's all perfectly nice tack it tack it tack it tack it tack it then just buzz round it all with TIG welder obviously I'll have to do some bit of cleaning on this with some sandpaper and a bit of with grinder first I'll get grinder in there and just take all big bits of paint off and then just go in with sandpaper try to take some more off 
wire brush, all that kind of stuff. Get it all in, get all the paint off that, and then graft that in. This one's not as bad because it's been so that paint took off it, so I should be able to just weld straight onto that one. It just wants a bit of the rust taking off, so just a quick rub down with sandpaper, and then we're done. Them two. Once I've finished them two, that's it, bike's done, isn't it? I can send them a billy, can come and pick it back up, I'll just plonk them back on bike, finish it off. I can't remember him saying anything else. He might have said something about welding a bracket on frame or somewhere like that, but I can't remember. Get confused, because this one wants... Same thing, it wants twin pipes up high into the similar type silencer behind the shocker. Might want some welding doing on frame, so I'll have to check. I can't remember which one wanted a bit of welding doing. Uh, well, I think, yeah, he's tacked some of these on himself. He's migged them on some of them brackets down there, and it's they're a bit ropey. So he said if I can grind that back and then just run back over it with a TIG welder. I do remember him saying that. So I'll have to check, I'll have to check the other one. Uh, Obviously that's going to be one of my next jobs, is that beamer. I'm going to see if this GSXR slabby thing uh, wants, if that wants inch and a half pipes, I'll bend some of the pipes at the same time, because I think I can do that first bend on mandrel. And then same with these, I might be able to do it first bend on mandrel. At least if I'm on that size tubing, I'll set the tube bender up on that size tubing. Get that one out of the way, because I think I've got another one of these... Uh, We'll just call them bandits. <laughs> Another bandit engine bike coming in. GSXR, whatever they are. Uh, yeah, got another one of them coming in soon. So, yeah, try and do this one, that one, and the other one all at the same time. Uh, let's have a flip round. Let's see my face one last time before we crack on, do some work. Uh, let's just gotta, just gotta keep going. At the end of the moment, I've got. The queue's that big at the moment, I just need to keep cracking on. Try and forget about this camera stuff. If I can squeeze it in, I'll squeeze it in, but I just need to focus on getting some work done. Mainly because I've just had an holiday. I've uh, been Wales for a long weekend over Easter. Then I'm going Wales again this weekend for a stag do. Then after that, is it bank holiday weekend again, May Day? Oh, just this time of year, it just all comes thick and fast, doesn't it? Every, everybody wants time off, everybody wants, we've got weddings, flipping just all sorts of stuff going down weddings and holidays and all that jazz so yeah just try and keep in front of everything before the next break comes along so what i'm gonna do i'll just keep cracking on i'm gonna say mike set camera up while i'm doing that tig welding i'll show you when it's all done plonk it all back together we'll do a sign it off video uh yeah then i can start uploading them enfield videos as well then I just need to keep i need to remember that it all that stuff takes another hour so even just filming this it takes an hour to get it off my camera an hour to flipping load it up to YouTube. <sighs> yeah, I'm g I'll get on with me emails and invoices and all that stuff as well if you're missing one. So, yeah, look out for a reply. I'll keep cracking on. I'll speak to you soon.